here at St. Francis and we want to welcome you to a virtual tour of the school. We're so sorry that you can't be here to do your shadow day due to the COVID-19 outbreak. And so a colleague of mine who is socially appropriately distanced from me um, and I are going to show you the school. It doesn't look the same without the faculty and the students, but hopefully we can give you a little taste of what makes St. Francis so special. This is our student commons room. In many ways, it's the heart of the school. Picture students in here before or after school, during their free periods. They might be playing Uno or ping pong or pool. They might be doing homework or just sitting and chatting and relaxing with friends. So this is just a comfortable space um, that really belongs to all of our students. Then during lunch, this space also doubles as a lunch area. Students have different options for lunch here at St. Francis. One of them is to bring lunches from home. And as you can see, there's a student kitchen here with a refrigerator, freezer, and microwaves that's dedicated to student use. Also, we have a library store that sells snacks and drinks and a few heartier items that students can purchase. And then sometimes students will sign out and go out to lunch. The sign out system is a really important part of the school culture. And it's something that I hope you'll get to experience on a shadow day here. The way that we trust students is, is really essential to who we are as a school. Um, we also want students to be prepared to go to college and function in life. When we talk about being college preparatory, we're talking about both academically and personally. So it's really important that students learn to manage their time and budget their money and make the kinds of choices that they're going to have to make in the coming years. So students really enjoy the sign out system. They get to go to lunch at various area restaurants um, or the little grocery store in Delhi right next door. Um, and ultimately, when the question comes up of what do most St. Francis students do, most St. Francis do a little bit of everything, um, whatever works for them and their families. So now we're going to go through each academic department. But before we do, I want to talk for just a minute about the faculty at St. Francis. They're incredibly smart and well-educated. 40% of them have PhDs, the rest have master's degrees. But frankly, that's not the, the most significant thing about them, I think, from your perspective. What's most significant is how much they care about teenagers and how much they love what they do and love fostering discussion, interaction, and community in the classrooms here. So hopefully when you get a chance to shadow, you'll be able to see that for yourself. So we are in the science department. And one of the things that I want to make sure you see is what we call the workshop. It's our maker space. Um, so come on in. So this space functions for a few different things. One, it's got all kinds of, as you can see, interesting woodworking tools and you know, saws and, and things where students can work with their hands and really create. It's also got some of the technology like a 3D printer and a laser cutter. So students can come in here, work on different projects. We also run engineering and design electives out of this space. This is a room that we call the space for thought because we're the school of thought. It's a large multi-use gathering space and every morning, Monday through Thursday, we have morning meeting in here, the whole community, students and faculty and staff. We do attendance, we make announcements, um, we announce birthdays and sporting events and extracurriculars and club meetings, and then we always end with a poem. On Friday mornings, we don't all gather in here. Instead, we're in smaller, what we call advisory groups, um, which are groups of different uh, grade level students, always with one teacher um, who's their advisor. They take turns bringing breakfast and doing other kinds of fun activities. Here we are in one of our three science labs. This one is for biology and includes our resident snakes as well, pumpkin and kernel mustard. Generally at St. Francis, the sequence runs physics, then chemistry, then biology. We also offer five AP sciences, two in physics, one biology, one chemistry, and environmental science. And we also offer electives for juniors and seniors that aren't AP in different topics like anatomy and physiology, local flora, optics, design and engineering, astronomy, and things like that. Now we're in one of our English classrooms. English at St. Francis encompasses a lot of reading, writing, discussion, and interaction with the teacher. So students might be reading short stories, poetry, plays, Shakespeare or others, novels. Um, they would be writing both creatively and analytically. And always they would be discussing what they're reading and close reading with the teachers. We offer English 1, 2, 3, and 4, as well as AP English Literature, and then junior and senior semester electives on things like creative writing, film studies, female detective characters, and more. We also have a fantastic playwriting elective that's open to all students, taught by personnel from Actors Theatre, where you learn to write 10-minute plays that are produced at our showcase every December. 
This is a history classroom. The history curriculum at St. Francis is definitely unique. The first two years are spent taking classes called Culture and Civilization. In freshman year, it's the ancient world. In sophomore year, it's the medieval world. You will read texts from the world's major religions. You will read um, ancient Greek texts. Um, all kinds of different things to really get a deep understanding of the civilizations that shaped who and where we are today. In the junior year, you choose between U.S. history and AP Euro European history. And then in senior year, we also offer AP U.S. history and a number of different senior seminars and electives that both juniors and seniors can take. Things like criminal law, constitutional law, gender studies, roots of terrorism, all kinds of really interesting electives that dive into certain parts of history and current culture. Welcome to the Chinese classroom. Here at St. Francis we teach two different world languages, Chinese and Spanish. We start both of those in introductory level one, if you've had no background at all, and we go all the way through the AP levels. We also offer a variety of international trips each year. So in recent years we've been to China, we've been to uh, Ecuador and the Galapagos, we've been to France, um, all kinds of exciting opportunities to travel if that's something that you're interested in. This is one of our math classrooms. We offer a lot of different math classes here at St. Francis, starting with the basic sequence of Algebra 1 Geometry and Algebra 2, and then continuing all the way through Pre-Calculus, AP Calculus, AB and BC, AP Statistics, AP Computer Science, and even some courses beyond the APs like Differential Equations and Advanced Set Theory and Logic. The other thing that is different about St. Francis math, in addition to just the number and depth of classes that we offer, is that we use a method called CPM, College Preparatory Mathematics, that really focuses on group work, on thinking through problems, on really understanding the why behind math and not just how to stick the numbers of the formula. It's an incredibly deep and intellectual way of learning math that's also a lot of fun. So I'm headed downstairs to show you our performing arts space, but first we have to stop and take a look at the Wyvern. This is a senior project, which is something that all of our students do before they graduate. This particular senior decided to imagine what a Wyvern would look like if it were real, and she researched it and then carved its bones out of foam core and strung the whole thing together. So this is Audrey II, the puppet from our production of Little Shop of Horrors two years ago. The St. Francis drama shows are the showcase of student written plays that is every December that I mentioned earlier, and then every spring either a full length play or musical. So we just finished um, earlier in March our production of Chicago. From, as you can see down there, you can see our performing arts space. We offer a robust music program, um, both in terms of curricular options like the music performance class and music theory and jazz ensemble, as well as an extracurricular vocal ensemble. Students at St. Francis in their sophomore year do take a fine arts elective, so either the music performance class or our studio art, filmmaking, or photography classes. These are all taught by professional practicing artists and residents, which gives students a really great feel um, for how art can also apply to the real world. If you're really interested in art, you can continue taking any of those classes on an advanced basis in your junior and senior years. So this is our fitness room where our freshmen work out during their PE classes. It's open as well to other students who want to get some exercise and of course to our athletic teams as they're conditioning. As far as our athletic program goes, in the fall we offer field hockey, soccer, volleyball, and golf. We have basketball and bowling in the winter, and then we have baseball, tennis, and track in the spring. Athletics are a really huge part of a student experience at St. Francis, if that's something that you're interested in. And we offer both a great opportunity for a really experienced athlete to have four years of varsity experience, and also for a newer athlete to have the chance to play on a team. In addition to athletics and the performing arts, we also offer a number of other extracurricular activities from academic teams like Quick Recall, Math League, and Science Olympiad, to um, clubs and affinity groups like our BSA, QSA, Multicultural Students Association, and Gender Rights Group, and then also just fun clubs that students like to start. Um, this year we've had a cheese club, um, a film club, an anime club, just whatever students are interested in. And then of course we also offer um, Climate Club, KYA and Kuna, and really anything else that a student wants to dream of. Here at St. Francis we have two full-time counselors for our high school students. One is our school counselor, 
who is here to support all of you with social and emotional health, friendship issues, any other concerns that might get um, in your way or be challenges. The other is our college advisor. Um, and this is her room, as you can see, with lots of dependents from the schools that our students have gotten into and attended over the years. Whether or not you're thinking a whole lot about the college process yet, it is a huge asset to have somebody, when the time comes, to help you from every aspect of it to standardized testing, to where should you apply, how to apply, everything in between. Thank you so much for coming along on this video tour of St. Francis with me today. I really hope that we can meet in person soon and you can come do your actual shadow day. But in the meantime, our wonderful admissions director, Tony Robinson, will be in touch with you and your parents to answer any questions that you have. We also can put you in touch with some of our current students, um, current teachers, maybe show you a little bit about how we're even doing our remote learning plan, just to make sure that you get as good a sense as possible of what St. Francis School is all about.